Welcome back everybody. Today what I want to do is I want to show you how to use my two-stage video generation workflow in Comfy UI. I'm going to be using LTX video for this, but actually it will work with Hanyuan and with Mochiyuan. I've obviously put out these workflows already, so they're already in my workflows pack and they're already in dedicated packs which are up on Comfy UI and so on. But I wanted to really sort of hammer in how to use them because this will allow you to get more frames and or larger videos depending on your setup. If you don't want to miss my next video, hit that subscribe button because YouTube ain't going to tell you. So let's just dive in. First thing you're going to want to remember is we do one stage at a time. OK, we can ignore the face swap and the face model creator nodes because uh, or groups because those are for a different video. All right. So we're not going to bother looking at that. We're only dealing with the top. This is stage one and this is stage two. Stage one, we encode the latents. So it's very simple. It's going to save latent files. All right. So right now I'm running LTXV with 250 frames. Well, that's 10 seconds of video at 1280 by 736, which is slightly larger than 720p. OK, now, again, you can grab these workflows from my workflow pack. So there's no secret here. But the point I'm trying to make is that this is how I use it. All right. And I am using the GJUF Q8, so you could be using Q4 um, and get a little bit more memory saving, all right? So first thing I'm doing is I've got a prompt list, okay? So that means that every single prompt is coming through newscaster agents. So it's got a slightly different prompt every time the seed's different. So I have a randomized prompt seed and I have a randomized generation seed. Now, if I go into this here, as you can see, it's saving the latent file. Now it's going to save the latent file here. Zoda, project name, two stage, latent dot latent. All right, with a number in between, just like Comfy gives everything a number. And so what's going to actually happen is if I uh, put this onto, let's just get rid of the 100 there. We're not doing that yet. If I put this on instant mode and hit Q, I do this before I go to bed, right? So before I go to bed, I hit Q. I leave it on overnight. It's probably going to make about 200 latents in 12 hours. So when I wake up the next day or whenever I get to the office, I'm going to see, or to my computer, if you're not working in an office, um, what you're going to see is a buttload of latents in your output folder. Now, my batch latents, so we'll get to that. That's the stage two. So obviously you'll stop the queue the next day, right? So it's just been saving prompt to latent, okay? It's just been saving dot latent files all night. You come in in the morning, you stop the queue, and then what you do is you go over to the group switch, you go off and on, so now it's in decode mode, decode.latent, right? And all of the workflows I've made for no matter what model, they work exactly the same, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to hit R. When you hit R, it updates Comfy UI's all of the lists, all the drop-down lists get updated to see what's really there now. So if we were at 7, that was the bottom of the list before, what you've now got, look, we got all 200 of the videos that were made last night. OK, now I'm not going to click next queue, next queue. That's far too much effort. So this is why I've made this batch node. I just want to explain, like I said, people have been getting quite confused about how it works. So first of all, this is not the selection. This is a list that tells you what number you want to put in the seed, because otherwise, how do you know which number in the list it is? So I'm going to start at seven which is one, which is actually seven. So I'll start at seven. I've already done it. See, I have it on increment mode. Right. And then I'm going to say I want 100. OK, I want 100. I'm going to start at seven and then increment. So it's going to step through every single video in that list. And as you can see, it's adding them all in order for me. So now I can go away and have lunch. And so after a little bit of time, it will finish. You will have all of your videos. And that's everything I've got for you today. So I hope that I've explained how to use my two-stage video generation workflow. Should enable you to squeeze a few more pixels out of your resolution or a few more frames out of your length. So there it is. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.